Hey everyone, it's Earth Collectors here. We're doing a random retail pack opening of baseball cards. We got 15 different packs. We're going to get right into it. These are from some that we just recently bought, some that we've had uh, in our storage area, aka our small little card room. Um, anyway, so we saved some of these up. So let's see what we have here. We have uh, Chrome from this year, Stadium Club from 19, this year's Chronicles, this year's Archives. 2019 Heritage High Number, 2019 Archives, and a 2019 Allen and Ginter. Remember, these are all retail packs. So we have Holiday from this year, uh, Chrome Update out of a Mega Box from this year, and then 2017 pack. <clears throat> we have a Blister pack of 2020 Update. And then the back we have Leaf um, Draft. We have a Series 2 from 2019 and this year's 2021 um, uh, Series 1. So let's get into it. Let's open up one of these packs. Let's start with 2020 Archives Baseball. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. It's been pretty cold here. It's been cold across the country. Um, we did not have much winter until now. We finally have snow. It's taken forever for us to get snow. and We live in northern Michigan, so... Kind of crazy this year how it's been. 2021 has started off somewhat crazy. And here is a insert. I think these are pretty special. I don't know how often you pull these. Um, this is Javier Baez um, insert. Uh, El Mago, if I'm saying that correctly. Spanish for the magician. So I don't know if these are like all nicknames or I'm not really sure on that insert set. I'm not real familiar with that. All right, I'm sure some of you out there in the listening world know better than I do. So this is 2019 Stadium Club. This is out of a blaster, and so is that pack of archives. So right away, we start out with a Corbin Burns rookie. Cal Ripken, I like that card. It looks like he's celebrating there um, in his, what is that, Corvette um, convertible. Jake Arrieta. And then a, oh, that's sweet, Ricky Henderson Sepia. That's a nice-looking card. And then I love the this um, Miguel Cabrera card from Stadium Club with the big uh, the big tiger in the background, most likely taken, I think, in Lakeland, Florida, where they play um, their spring training. Let's do 2017 um, update. This is loaded with a bunch of good guys. Uh, Bellinger, uh, Aaron Judge is in here, uh, and a whole bunch more. So let's see if we can pull any of those big, rookies out of there bradley zimmer not necessarily a big rookie name but still rookie um and then we have a clay buckholes uh, rainbow foil and then one of these mvp um babe ruth inserts alex wood lemayhu scherzer and a Derek fisher rookie card Let's get into this Topps Chrome update from this year. So, you know, this checklist of Chrome update is not very good. Um, but we'll see if we can pull a Randy or Rosarina out of here, or maybe a Trent Grisham. So there's a Clayton Kershaw and Anthony Rizzo. Uh, Cesar Hernandez and a Gavin Lux rookie debut. So that's not bad. Gavin Lux rookie debut, Chrome. There's the back of it. So that was at least halfway decent. How about an Allen and Ginter from 2019? And, you know, we found a lot of these packs before the um, big hobby boom, before everybody was hitting retail stores everywhere. Um, so you would find these. Can you believe it or not? You could actually find some cards on clearance back then. Um, and, yeah, we just stocked up on them and so saved them for breaks like this. So pretty fun. Um, here is a Piazza Mini. And then we have a Jeter insert. And then the horse insert. Mares and stallions. And then we have a little goat. The goat kid. Baby goat. Um, and uh, Strasburg, Schwartz, and Yuskremski. So... Nothing too crazy out of that pack. If I miss something, let me know. Let's do oh, let's do Chronicles from this year. 2020 Chronicles. That's a fun set. If you haven't 
um, opened up Chronicles Baseball. Um, for Panini, it's definitely one of our favorites that they do. I know a lot of people aren't big fans of Panini Baseball, understandably so, uh, just because they don't have the logos. However, they do make nice looking cards. Um, and uh, this particular set is a lot of fun. So this is an Aquino, yep, an Aquino, and I believe that one is, no, it's not number, it's just a green, okay? And then we have the mosaic cards here. Those are nice, and then behind that we have, I think these are the blaster exclusives um, of Vlad Guerrero. So no big names in that one. How about 2020 Holiday? So you're looking for the short prints, those are the real, um, valuable cards, the short prints, at least they can have value. Um, or, of course, the one of ones, the metallic snowflakes, the gold metallic snowflakes. We did pull a Justin Verlander gold. We do have a short print, a Garrett Cole. So let's see what this is. He is obviously wearing a scarf. <laughs> so kind of fun. They started doing these last year, and this is going to be... It says right there, 71. This is just the um, regular short print. It's not like the the rare or the super rare. There's three levels, 71, 72, and 73. So look at that code. If you have a 73, you have one of the super short prints. Um, so it's a really fun set. We always uh, open up a fair amount of it, and uh, we'll try to make some sets out of it as well as... Uh, just collect the cards. So actually, we got a bunch of stuff we got to list. In the back, we got a nice card there, Ronald Acuna. Um, this is out of a um, cello pack. So this is not a blaster. So a cello, Mondesi, and a Kikuchi. And then behind that, we have the Acuna, which actually looks to be fairly well centered. I love the look of those. Um, I think they did a really nice job with those um, 85 uh, inserts. All right, let's open up 2020 update. This is a blister pack. See if we can get one of the one and only good rookie in here. Well, actually, Trent Grisham's in here as well. Um, but let's see if we can pull a Randy Rosarina purple. So they come with one purple, and this is a Joey Votto purple. So those are the Meyer exclusive parallels. And then you have the pack, which I think has 16 cards in it. Yep. 16 cards, you can pull autographs and various other um, parallels out of here, although the odds are very tough. So there's an Aaron Judge. There's an Alvarez rookie debut. Can't wait to see how he does. So there's a lot of good rookie debuts in here, um, but not, ooh, we got a, we do have a parallel. So I think this is advanced stat. Yep, so you can see right there, it says advanced stat record. Too bad the name isn't a little bit better, but hey, um, we'll take a parallel any day. The odds of getting that are pretty high, or pretty low, I should say. Not an easy pull. And that's what makes this set so hard, is obviously hard to pull parallels, and then when you do, the chance of pulling anybody of a bigger name is very difficult. All right, let's do archives from 2019. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like these type of videos, please hit that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite card is. What uh, is your favorite pack that uh, I opened here today? Luke is actually getting ready to go skiing. He's going to ski in his um, conference finals today. So wish him and his team well. Um, he did ski in that. This is an interesting one. I don't know much about this card other than I think they made, this is one of the inserts in here. It's a reprint um, of some kind. So I don't know a lot about that particular card. I think they just um, did like a tribute to uh, Ichiro, I believe, in that, that year. There's a Cal Quantrill. So yeah, Luca's going to be out skiing today um, and skiing for the conference finals. So... They had a state qualifying meet, um, a regionals, and uh, Luke did not qualify for the state finals, but his friend did, and he did very well. Actually got first place um, in one of the events, so that was awesome. Love to see the team do well. They have a good young ski team, so 
pretty fun. Let's see if we can get any of the top rookies. Unless I passed one, I don't think we did. These are really tough. Um, we got that scratch off, uh, but yeah, nothing major in the rookie pile there. How about Elite Extra Edition? So this is a blaster box. This is all you get out of one blaster box. For some reason, I thought there were two packs in these things, but no, nope, there's just one. You do get a couple hits, though. So let's see what we can get. See if we can pull a Spencer Torkelson. That would be pretty sweet. Um, the cards look nice, and I like the fact that they do have the uh, logos. This is a good one. Uh, Suspidus. We did pull an autograph of his. And then Bay, I believe is how you say his name. So you get a numbered parallel. And then behind that is, ooh, we have a redemption. Interesting. All right. So here is our relic, Reed Detmers. First round materials. So that's a nice looking card from Louisville. Shout out to our friend 502 Frank. All right, let's see, Suspis, you can lead us to see who. It's a base signatures. Card number 74, Anthony Servito. All right, so not really sure who he is, but you can redeem it online. So anyways, interesting that they put redemptions in there. Very interesting. Uh, not a big fan of that, but... Oh, well, what can you do? All right, so we got a Series 1 from this year. Uh, this has been a really fun um, set for us. We've been opening up a fair amount of retail that we found um, and a few uh, of the hobby. So here is one of the rookies. It's loaded with some good rookie names. Uh, very exciting, excited to see how some of these guys pan out. Evan White, good rookie right there. Um and here is an insert, the 70 year anniversary. And then behind that, we have another Evan White. So Evan White hot box or hot pack, I should say. Uh, Shane Bieber. And these are really cool. Hands up, mask up, um, you know, kind of going back, obviously not kind of, but going back to 2020 with the COVID, um, you know, things that happened during COVID with the mask and they, you know, all the stuff they do with that, the high fives of their elbows, and um, they have one that's a cutout one with a crowd being cut out. So pretty fun. I'm glad they uh, captured some of the history there and put that into the set, not just in inserts, but actually into the set. All right, let's get into this. This one is loaded with some big cards. Um, hopefully this pack has a few of them. Um, Tatis, of course, is in here. Vlad Guerrero. Um, and uh, Pete Alonzo all have rookie cards in the set. So Tatis, if his card is in here, it's going to be in these landscape because his is a landscape of this year. Roman Quinn, and no, no Tatis. But we do have wrong Padre, but we do have a Padre gold. So number 2020. And a Phil Necro insert, Stan Musial, Mookie Betts insert. And then let's see if we can pull any of the top rookies. Uh, I see a Matt. Uh, wrong Matt. Hoping it was a um, Pete Alonso. Sorry, took me a second there to think about who I was talking about or hoping for. So what happens when you get old, kids? Don't get old. You just... Uh, Start losing your mind. Just kidding. Haven't lost. Oh, there he is. Ben Attendee. That was an awesome catch. He is no longer on the Red Sox. Now on the Royals. Always like the Royals. So hopefully he does really well on the Royals. All right. Last pack slash box. This leaf box. It's kind of strange. It is an actual um, like set. Um, so you get 50 card set plus two autographs. So let's see who our autographs are. They put them in top loaders and in a team bag. Gage Workman and Brandon, I'm not going to try to say his last name. Um, so there are the backs of the cards. You get two autographs in a box of leaf, and then you get the set. So quickly go through the set. Once again, thanks everybody for watching. 
hopefully you're doing well. Um, hopefully uh, you are able to find some retail cards by you. So that's card number one. Let's put that in the number one position. Just quickly go through these. Fernando Tatis. So there's a lot of big names they put in here. Obviously, um, these some of these guys, there's a Dominguez. Some of these guys are obviously in the majors already. Um, not too familiar with this set. There's a Spencer Torkelson. Um, and forgive me if I pass over one of the highlights, uh, but this is just a set. So you're not going to get, uh, right, there's the Rodriguez. You're not going to get anything different, I don't believe, in one of these sets. I don't think there's a chance to pull uh, a parallel. There's a Zach Veen. Um, so a lot of the big names are in here. Uh, Fescue. Uh, there's another one. Uh, he plays for the Mets. Walker, Carson Tucker, and uh, there's Cespedes, and then Peraza. So there you go, guys. That was uh, 15 packs. Oh, wait, we got one more. Oops. Hold the brakes, or pull the brakes. Uh, we got an archives. This is the box topper out of a blaster box. Let's see who we got here. We got, oh, that's cool. Cal Ripken. Those are beautiful cards. Um, not numbered, but it is blue. So I don't know if it's a, that's just the standard color of the border. But anyways, that's a cool looking card. I like that. Cal Ripken. Um, so they did a good job with that, uh, with those inserts in there. There you go. Give you a better angle uh, of the archive set this year. All right. Well, thanks for watching guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, we look forward to doing more breaks of baseball, football, and basketball soon on the channel. We're going to go out hunting for retail this week. So stay tuned for that video. Plus a lot more coming your way. All right. Take care guys. Have fun collecting. We'll see you soon.